Welcome to the Ping Vault. I'm Iona Stephen, and today we're talking all things Solheim Cup with this year's team captains, Julie Inkster and Katrina Matthew. We're going to discuss the best players and moments in Solheim Cup history. Ladies, I want to know your all-time star picks, favourite moments and shots from the Solheim Cup. So, starting with you, Julie, <laughs> both <laughs> past and present, who are the standout American players? Well, I would have to say, I'd go with uh, Meg Mallon. Um, you know, she always played with uh, um, compassion and, and uh, she, she was kind of a stalwart on the team. Um, I'd also probably have to say um, Dottie Pepper. He probably always gotten under the skin of the Europeans. And, um, you know, Paula Kramer. I think she's played on quite a few. I mean, there's been a lot of great players, but I would have to say those three are probably the ones that um, come to my mind. Mm. And Katrina, who have been the standout European players in your mind? Um, I would say you'd have to start with Laura. I mean, I think she played in the first 12. Um, you know, she's been a stalwart of European golf, uh, the LET Tour, um, over what, 30, 30 years now. So uh, she'd probably be my number one pick. I um, always remember watching her, you know, before I'd even played in it, watching her and Ali Nicholas playing together, like little and large. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they always seem to pair yeah. together. So, uh, you know, some great memories there. Um, I think Suzanne, just the, the kind of fire and passion she plays with, um, you know, it's quite different from me. So to watch her play is, uh, you know, is exciting to see her with the, just the passion she shows. I think another one, um, Perhaps Helen Alfredson. Again, uh, the, just the, the intensity she, I think she played with. And then Annika, um, I was lucky enough to partner with her quite a few times. So, uh, you know, I've got a great partner to have. Um, mm. You know, she, I just knew if I could put it on the fairway, I'd be on the green and, you know, she'd hold some putts. Yes, yes, yes. And looking at the American team, who do you recall as the standout players that you came up against? Um, I would say, I mean, I remember Dottie in my first one, um, you know, just the, God, the <laughs> <laughs> she was quite scary. I mean, that was my first one. And then there's, there's Dottie playing, uh, you know, she just was, she, I think she just about willed the ball in the hole sometimes. <laughs> um, obviously, Julie, you know, a great team player, you know, won lots of points. Um, you know, she just has looked, always looked like she was having such fun out there. So uh, I think um, Meg Mallon, Beth Daniel, I mean, they've had some great players. Mm. And Julie, who, who did you feel were the strong European players that you came up against? Well, I, it, uh, Beanie kind of named them, uh, you know. Suzanne, um, I never really played against Suzanne, but just watching the firepower that she had, um, beautiful golf swing and just, uh, you know, the shots she could hit were like none other. But, you know, Laura Davies, um, Annika, Beanie, you know, Beanie's been, you know, just a stalwart there. Um, and she, Beanie, the thing about playing with Beanie, against Beanie, you don't know if she's four up or four down. I mean, she just kind of like rolls along. Okay, Graham, where's, where's the green? Where's the fairway? Um, you know, they've, they've had a, a lot of great, Helen Alfredson, oh my gosh, she used to get under my skin. Um, but, uh, you know, and I think that's what makes it fun. There's so many different personalities that, um, you know, you just like, oh my gosh, I have to play her again. Mm. So. And what are the qualities that you think make a good, you know, strong Solheim Cup player? I think just never giving up, just having the passion to play. It's it's hard. I mean, it's hard controlling your emotions, and it's it's hard. You don't want to let your teammates down, but in in the end, it's it's golf, and and you got to have fun with it. You know, one day, you know, Beanie's going to beat me, and one day I'm going to beat her. That's just the way it falls. And looking back. What are, what are your favorite memories and what stands out and why? Well, in 1998 again, I got to raise the flag with my two kids and that was very special. 
But I have to say, last year at um, at Des Moines, and I was watching Lexi and Anna Norquist uh, play each other, um, it was amazing. And you know, Lexi takes a one-up lead going to 17, and Anna Norquist hits one of the greatest drives, and then just stuffs an eight iron about that far, and, and was given the putt. And you know, you didn't want to see a loser in that match because they both played phenomenal golf, and um, that was probably one of the best matches I've ever seen. And, and then having a chance, I finally had a chance to, Laura and I, we never played against each other. So we, we finally had a chance that we played each other and we ended up tying. So I think that was special for me to be able to play against Laura. Mm. And the same question to you, Katrina. What's, what are the memories that stand out? Um, I think one of the ones that stands out was um, Anna, I think the 17th, it was in Chicago, Rich Harvest Farms, where um, I think they were one up with two to go and she knocks it in the hole for hole in one. Uh, I remember watching that, I think I'd finished my game and we were watching that, so I mean, what a way to hole in one to finish your game and to win it. Uh, so that was certainly one that stands out. I mean, there's so many memories that you can think of, but uh, yeah, I mean, I think playing wise, I remember going on to the first tee in Ireland. I think I was leading the team out in the singles. So, uh, you know, that was a special feeling to go on there. I was playing Paula, um, uh, went out and, you know, I, I played well. Weather was terrible. I think that maybe got to Paula a little. But uh, yeah, I think it's just memories. I think the, the first tee memories are some of the best I've had. We walked on, certainly in home matches, and, you know, they're all, the crowd are there and they're singing songs and they kind of adapt it to, to suit you, to fit you. So uh, there's some great memories thinking of that. Mm, some incredible memories and plenty more to come. Ladies, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.